have breaking news following that huge fire in northeast Portland. Even more people are now being evacuated because of all the lingering smoke. That fire started in a salvage yard near 75th and Killingsworth. It destroyed four homes and killed several pets. Although the owner of this yard has a theory what may have started a fire, investigators still at this point don't have an official cause. Now here's a closer look at the new evacuation area. It stretches from 60th and Alberta, east to 76th and north to Columbia Boulevard. Everyone in this area should leave immediately. Health officials say the air quality is just too unhealthy for people to stay in their homes tonight. Uh, this is worse than a forest fire. This is uh, cars, interiors of cars, and especially tires. The EPA showed up quickly and has demonstrated that there are dangerous levels of particulates to the west of the fire. And we know that there are also far more dangerous chemicals uh, from the tires and car material. Every tire has about two gallons of petroleum in, in it, plus many other chemicals. So this is hazardous in ways that we can't exactly measure right now. You can still see the smoke in the air from this video from our ground crews tonight. The EPA says young children, the elderly, and people with respiratory issues are at the greatest risk. And tonight that fire is still smoldering. That's nearly 13 hours after it started. KGW's Catherine Cook has been on the scene all night for us. She's live on Northeast 75th in Killingsworth where firefighters, police, and the EPA just shared some new information. Catherine? And Joe, first off, fire crews tell us they will remain here on scene at least until noon tomorrow, working on those hot spots. Police are also doing their part, driving all around this neighborhood evacuation zone, loud hailing people by a loudspeaker, asking them to leave for their own safety. As for the cause of this fire, that investigation is just beginning. Plumes of black smoke rising from Northwest Metals on Northeast 75th and Killingsworth. The fire burned for hours. It destroyed four homes, killed 15 cats, and forced dozens of neighbors to evacuate. We gathered here because we're all put out. Yandela Hall raced back to her home on Northeast 74th. Two things on her mind. Fear and my dogs. Her dogs made it out safely. So did about a dozen other pit bulls from Diamond Cut Loyalty Canine Rescue. The house started filling up with smoke. They said evacuate. And I had to get each and every one of them out to safety. And it was, it was, it was hard, but I got all my babies safe. The dogs rested against Gartner's meat market in crates donated by PetSmart before heading to a boarding facility until they can return home. We posted on Facebook for help and people were pouring out of the woodwork to help the rescue, help the dog. The place where the fire started is a metal recycling company. I'm just in shock. Moyata Anota's family runs Northwest Metals. He says fire destroyed excavators, forklifts, and a metal shredder they just installed last week. He's also thinking of those who lost their homes. Man, I, I have no words to, to say. I'm just sorry for their loss, and we're, we're just trying to figure out how it happened. Anota says his business has had problems with break-ins and squatters trespassing on the property. He wonders if they're somehow responsible for the fire. It's hard to speculate right now. Like I said, we'll let the investigators do their job. A county health officials say the evacuation notice is good indefinitely. They don't know when they will be asking neighbors to come home. But again, shelters are set up. And uh, we have some information on where those are, but if you are looking for one, you can always call 211. Back to you. Well, it is a devastating fire, and our thoughts are with all the people affected. And we do have more information, Catherine, on shelters. The Red Cross tonight is opening up a new shelter for people displaced by the fire. They'll be able to stay there overnight. This is video of the first center open tonight where residents went to get information. The second center is opening at the Department of Community Justice on Southeast 122nd Avenue in Portland. That's near Market Street. Families who are evacuating right now will be able to stay at that center tonight and you can bring your pet to that shelter. In addition to the air quality concerns lingering tonight, others are seeing an impact to their water. We got this video from someone who lives in the area. Their water has been coming out of the tap looking murky, as you can see here. We checked with the city. They see the firefighting effort stirred up a sediment that they claim is harmless. They say they expect it to clear up, but crews will go out to flush the water mains if it continues. If your water is discolored, limit hot water use 
and avoid washing light colored laundry as well until it clears. Well, as you can tell, this was a really big fire and people saw it all over the Portland area today. Dozens of our viewers sent in photos from where they were today. The plume was huge just a few streets away, but it could be seen from downtown Portland, Rocky Butte, even as far away as out in Beaverton. We have a full gallery of your pictures on KGW.com. This is a developing situation. You can check out KGW.com for the latest evacuation orders. We'll also let you know as soon as people are allowed back into their homes.